Welcome back to Tatsu 55 Place the Walking Dead. We are now going to investigate this strange old house thing. There we go. This cabinet. Anything here? All empty. Damn it. What is this? Nothing. Water's off. Cleaned out. Damn. Not here. My dog Walter. Walter. <sighs> Sorry about your dog. Dug it up. He's dead. Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Microwave. Oh. No power. Of course there's no power. There hasn't been any power since episode one. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. I hope not either. I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. Okay, fine. Sheesh. Yo, it might not actually taste that badly. You know that, right? Must have stopped working a while ago. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. <laughs> How's it coming? Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Hey, guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far, so good. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd yeah. like to believe that. That'd be nice. Really, I would. It would actually be really nice. But... What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Oh, God, I hope. I hope I'm right, too. Uh, it would just suck if Kenny lost it. It's like the last guy from episode one left. At least I think so. Aside from Clem and Lee, but I mean, they're the... Not exactly my style. Checking a door. Open. It's Nothing a toilet. Nothing in here. Let's check this door now. Kabang. Anything here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's just a closet. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Oh. That door is going to pull a fake out on us. Or there'll actually be a walker in there that we have to shoot. Or something like that. Bam! Jesus! Ha! <laughs> it's a mop. What? What happened? It's nothing. Just, uh, nothing. 
Lee had a freak out. Uh. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Be nice. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Ben? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. So what? You came to me instead of going to Stay yourself. here. Ah, uh, whatever. Bit of coward making do it then. Let's get up there. Uh. Kenny? What's going on, dude? What's, what's up? What are you on your knees for? I mean... Kenny! You okay, man? Oh, Jesus! What the hell is that? Oh, my God. like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Sorry. We should bury him. Yeah. I'll take care of it. Thank you. 
Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Who the fuck are you? Hey! Hey! Oh my god! Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? God, that was startling. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I'm with really Kenny. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well, then hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No. Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Lee, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Stay here. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. Hey, uh, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there, in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean... River's we... right up ahead. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. 
Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan, Lee. This is our best and only shot. You said so yourself back at the house. You agreed with me. Yeah, but that was before we... This one might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. I'll just have a look around, okay? Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Not exactly a welcome banner. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Damn. Built solid. Is this meant to be some kind of warning? Who would do something like this? <laughs> Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? These markings. They're all over the place. I have no idea. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? How refined now, dude. Hey, look at this. A cash register. Maybe there's some change in the drawer. <laughs> uh, I'm being stupid. Might be a good place to look for some change. I guess nobody really cares about money these Hello, days. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Dang it. Uh, Kenny. Dude, you got a, you got a quarter or something? You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. All right. I'll go look. Hang on. I see. Oh. Definitely looks like a rush job. Oh, he's turning. Okay. Hmm. Car. Yes, siphoned. 
tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Looks like it's still intact. This thing is done. Maybe. Damn it. Locked. Oh, hey. Yes. Awesome. I got myself a quarter. I got myself a quarter. I got myself a quarter. Now we're gonna look at. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. No sign of any boots down there. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. You know, now that I think about it, it's been three... We were in that motel for like three months. Plenty of docks, no boats. So that would mean that the boats are probably... On no way that one's salvageable. If we had headed here like early on, maybe... Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. Damn. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. What? Who the hell? What the hell? What? Who the... What? What are you doing? Get down! Get down! We hiding. Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Him. Could be our bell ringer. Him, her, How about we go find it's... out? <sighs> Sounds, like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. All right. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Definitely a shank. Okay. You're not from Crawford. You're not the guy. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Kenny, don't! No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? This got tense real fast. Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. 
This is Kinney and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Meat started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Really? Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. That's debatable. Uh-huh. Why no children? What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Huh. <sighs> That's not how our group does things. You're not saying... They actually... I mean, I mean, kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave, along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Do you know who's been rigging those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us. Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That was pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat, hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just great. Isn't that the... The way we came. Fuck. 
gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mommy, is there a... Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. So what the hell are we supposed to do? I refer you to my previous answer. But you have to help us, please! <sighs> Come on, make it fast! Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Yeah, probably. Shit. Next time on Tattoo 55, let's play. We go through the sewers. Must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. <laughs> 